Mr. NC. Uh, good morning, uh, members of the high table, our brothers from the security force, uh, Mr. Sebu, and thank you again for that wonderful speech. My brother, who is putting on two caps, that is Mr. Jeng, uh, both from the sport department and also from the West Coast Regional Football Association. Uh, members from the student union, and then, you know, we can't uh, go ahead if we didn't recognize the efforts of the student union, of course, through the uh, sport ministry to come up with such an initiation. Uh, those without tables, that is the students down there, we, we, we say a very big good morning. If we greet the high table, we should also greet those without tables. Oh, are you with tables? It's been boring. Are you involved? You are involved or you just listening? You should be involved. I only hope uh, you are inspired by the speeches that have uh, gone under your way so far. Uh -huh. And then hopefully those of you who are not part of the last training will also be thinking of doing so. Even whereas you aren't PE students, not so. Uh -huh. And then more so, uh, the PE students, this is very important. I should speak on the importance of sports in general. But I think the, the actual topic should have been the importance of sport administration and management. Because going through your itinerary of the training, I've seen you've inculcated uh, sports uh, management as well, and administration also. Uh, my PE students, if available here, will tell you part of the courses we do is sport management and administration. And then this is important. If they were present, they would have told you one of the importance that we've always discussed is uh, being that key factor in establishing your own sport department when the need arises, if you are catapulted to the fields. Uh, we have uh, madams and misters here who are from the fields, not so. Uh, some who are not even from the PE department, whenever the need for sport arises, you, you, you volunteer to be with students, not so. So you can see how important it will be if you go to such courses, because this will help you to establish your own standard sport department. Because uh, going to the field, most of the cases they are a P department, but are they standard? Are the departments handled by you know sport majors or people who are sport oriented? So you cannot just stand aside and watch if you call yourself a P major or at least a student of the college who has undergone some courses on the PE department, even where as it is not your major, uh, to be in a school where you didn't have a standard sport department and you didn't volunteer. I'm not sure your concern will let you to even do that. No, so. So this training obviously will go a long way in helping you to achieve that. I can remember when we are still students here at the college, we were equally student leaders. Uh, my brother Jeng is available, he can be a witness. Uh, it is through these activities where we are able to excel. We were students like you before, but uh, due to our involvement in students' activities, the principal was here, you can also be a witness if we were present, uh, that the recognition came from the administration that we need to maintain some of the products here. So do not just stop at what going to class, you know, having your lectures and going. Be involved, more so if you are a student leader. We also organize such trainings, but I will not do justice if I don't recognize your days. Yes, we organize trainings, but there were no ceremonies of such. That is award ceremonies. Those who underwent the training, so obviously their efforts will be recognized. And you know, platforms like this will create an avenue whereby you know their efforts will be recognized. And even those who didn't do the training or were not lucky to be involved, they can be eager. Mr. Sanya said it in his speech here, in the country we are generally in need of coaches, most of female coaches. Yes, we have a few among them who just concluded the recent training, but it's not enough. Ladies who come forward, the recent national team is headed by a male, female team I mean, is headed by a male, Mr. Mani. Before him it was bombed so. But go to other you know, female teams. Hardly you see female coaches handling them. He is a first division coach, Mr. Jen. He is handling feature B. And he is a male. And almost all his assistants and the technical staff are all male. So where are the ladies? It starts here. It starts here at the college, you know. 
you your Monday shouldn't stop only going to class and then move out. You know, you need to equip yourself with other necessities. More so if you're a student. Try to, you see, this the learning or the basic course didn't come through the course uh, outlines that we, we delivered. On the course outline, the only item that will affect you is the sport administration. That can help you in the coaching aspect. But aside from that, the basic, the deal and scene, you know, you need to, you know, try and get yourself involved. You can never tell where the benefits will stop. Away from that, I am a national referee. We know what we encounter when it comes to coaches in officiating games. But you can always recognize coaches who underwent training and coaches who didn't. Yes, the way they behave on the touchlines are quite different. It's not just the same. So having your basic, having your deal and scene, you obviously know how to challenge decisions, be it decisions of the referees, be it decisions of the organizing committee. You always know how to channel it. But you can't call yourself a coach if you didn't go or undergo any form of formal training. Mr. Jen said it here, part of the benefits or requirements in becoming a coach is to be knowledgeable. How can you be knowledgeable if you didn't undergo some of these courses? The classroom alone cannot give you this. So the efforts of the student union through the sport ministry should be recognized in at least coming up with such a platform. I hope this is just one of the you know, items on the road as far as sport is concerned. I will be biased. Jack will not only be the person to be biased. I am sports and I will be biased. I only hope there are packages that will come along students' way as far as sports is concerned. Uh, think of other fraternities aside from English, uh, aside from football. Uh, there are volleyball uh, competitions. You need coaches, you need uh, footballers, you need referees, even referees in uh, volleyball. Basketball is coming up. Those of you who are following Gambian sports of recent at Banjul, they organize a basketball competition in the nation where you have very few teams that are competing. You see very few basketball players. Of recent, they've selected two young Gambians who are part of the young African teams for the International Basketball Confederation. That is only two. It's not enough. We want to see more. There are other areas like athletics. We also need some. So you need to be diverse, right? And then I want to challenge the, 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 the student union through the sport department. Whenever a black comes knocking at your door, as far as sport is concerned, I please want you to grant him you know, the opportunity to at least come up with whatsoever plan that he has. He is working with us at the PE department. We know whatsoever you are doing here, you are helping us. Part of training students or equipping them, as far as sport is concerned, is part of our mandate. So if we have our student leaders helping in doing this, then we must say a very big thank you. And like I said when I started, you can never know where this can land you. We are here today as lecturers, we are here as students, and because of our efforts when we are student leaders, is when the Gambia College recognizes our efforts, and today we are equally lecturers. Before we start at the P department, there are no Gambians at the department. When we started from the sports club to the staff, to student union, you know, that is when the principal say, based on the efforts that we have here, then they need to inculcate some of their Gambian brothers to be part of the sport department. And here we are. So please continue whatsoever you are doing. I would like to draw the quote in here. And again, to say a very big thank you to the student union through the uh, sport ministry. Thank you. I mean, Jara, the, under the PE department, uh, Mr. Abdullah, uh, sport minister, uh, and other dignitaries present here, I greet you all. Uh, thank you very much for giving me the floor for taking me through uh, the importance of coaching. As, and I also want to take this from my people, they came here this morning, but due to busy schedules, because tomorrow we'll be hosting the GFF and their crew uh, at the regional office, so they are busy on those logistics. So that's why they took this permission for them to be excused and then complete the assignments that they are doing at the office there. Yes, some time back we were here conducting uh, coaching 
on both administration and football. Uh, and it was a two days interaction between the FA people and the Gambia College students. And most of them uh, were present on the ground and we have discussed a lot as far as coaching is concerned. And uh, you can bear with me some of the important things that we have discussed. If you look at coaching, the principles of coaching, uh, one of the key factors is what you need to be knowledgeable, much better in your area. Uh, if you want to be a coach and you want to be successful, please don't hesitate to seek for knowledge. It is important. The moment you are equipped with your area, it is always easy. Though coaching is not easy, it is demanding. And uh, nowadays, as coaches, we realize that there are so many things that we are facing. But uh, notwithstanding, we need to take it uh, upon ourselves and then give it its best. Because it's just like teaching. If you are a teacher, you are entrusted with a group of students that you need to guide. Uh, it's the same thing as coaches. Uh, being it a coach of a female team or a male team or any other sport, like uh, my boss just mentioned, Mr. Seku, nowadays uh, we have a lot of sports that we need to work on, not only football. Uh, most of the time, as teachers, PE teachers, trainers, coaches, we need to know that uh, you have a lot of sports that you need to uh, equip yourself on, and then whensoever you are in any school, you can try to do your best, being it basketball, volleyball, handball, as the list goes on. But uh, for now, as far as my role is concerned, I will be a bit biased because I am here for football and representing my people, that is West Coast Coaches Association. Yes, we have an umbrella body that is uh, training coaches within West Coast. And all these coaches that are within our umbrella are coaches that are coaching football in both categories, that both male and female and we are affiliated to the main body. That is the National Coaches Association, which is directly a uh, body under the Gambia Football Federation. So those that attended the training were taken through and being informed about the importance of what affiliation. Uh, and I was just happy when I heard something that we discussed the last time about the opportunity that is on the ground when Mr. Seuku just made mention of the uh, number of coaches that are needed, most especially female, that are needed to be trained on what? On calf sea lancing. And I think a few uh, days ago, we were discussing about this particular package. So uh, we need to take the bull by the horn and at least uh, come out, show our interest, so that we help one another. Together, we can raise the flag of this country. Because we are the most important personnel as far as sport is concerned. When so ever you talk of sport, the first area that you look at is the grassroots. And we are the very people that work with those that are representing the country today. We are the first agents of contact in the schools, in our local leagues, in our Navetans, and the list goes on. So we are very important as far as uh, preparing these uh, players or athletes are concerned. In coaching, we have categories as we know it. The, today's hour in ceremony, one might say, we have to start the first level which is the basic training. And it's one of the requirements that a coach should have before getting into any other level. Uh, you start with the basic, and with 
will serve as the entry requirement for your delancing. You cannot do a delancing without the basic. Others call it the elementary. And then you cannot also move to C lancing without D lancing. Likewise, you cannot move to B lancing without C lancing. And then you cannot do A lancing without B lancing. The list goes on. So this is the first level. And I challenge you all, as colleagues, let us not just take this certificate and then feel that, yes, this is the end of it. Let's impart the knowledge that we gain through this training to the others out there. And then we come back for the next level. Uh, without boiling you with a lot of speeches, I think I should rest my case for now. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Jeff, for giving us some motivation, more especially females to are involved in the coding force, because it is very much devoted, and there are a lot of advantages given to us. Good morning. Principal, first of all, uh, sports minister of the college, the MC, all the schools or institutions represented here, uh, the students. Uh, good morning. Uh, anyway, this is a very important gathering for me to give a speech. I don't prepare for it, but nonetheless. I was never been a coach, neither a football administrator, but I was a football player. I was a basketball player, and I was a volleyball player. I've run almost all the West African countries, playing football, volleyball, or basketball. I've played in Birkham Mahia for so long. Maybe some of you probably know Lai Bojang or Oyu if you are from Birkham. Uh, this is a very good initiative. Why? Because of most of the people who are managing sports have no knowledge in sports. This is why we are, we are at this stage still now. Because if you are managing something which you don't know, obviously you cannot create development. And one of the speakers mentioned here, female coaches. If you watch the female World Cup, obviously, you see female coaches. That should inspire you, ladies, at least to involve yourself. We'll also like to see a Gambian female coach coaching at, the, at that level. Yes. It's a pride for us. Because we are football fans. We are watching football both day and night. And uh, one thing, Mr. Principal, you organize course without at least inviting some of these institutions like the Army. Yeah, I'm managing a football team, of course. I have a football team. And uh, I want them to, at least some of them, to learn some of these skills or so. In case of tomorrow, when we are out, they can take over in. So I'm, I'm pleading with you, if such things should happen again, at least, you invite one or two people from our institutions. So I, I urge you students at least to utilize this knowledge. Fine, you have the paper here, but how am I able to develop it on the ground? For us in the military, anything you learn from the classroom, you have to practicalize it. Because if you don't, you will forget it. At the end of the day, fine, you will have the paper, yes. Have this basic knowledge. But it's not gonna, going to be bene any beneficial to anybody. Because you don't practice it. Especially as teachers. Uh, when I was going to St. Augustine's, when uh, there was a PT teacher called Sabala. Maybe some of you will know it. 
he was utilizing his knowledge. This is why, <coughs> at that time, you have so many people interested in sports. If they saw the PT teacher very active, obviously the students will be very active. So I urge you, yes, Gambia, they, they concentrate on football. But other sports are very important because the last time we have two of our soldiers went for beach volleyball for the World Cup, for the Olympics, yes. These are very important. So let us not only concentrate on football. You see, uh, I'm from Banjul, but I have a cricket team. We have a cricket team. Because some of these people, they think that it's a sport which is very useless. No, it's not. So especially those learning this football administration. Administration is very important in an institution. If an administration fails, nothing will work. Yes. Because even if they want the coach want to do something better, when the administration doesn't stand beside that coach, obviously it will not go. So I will not let you sit and listen to marathon speech because I don't prepare for it. But nonetheless, I'll end up here and urge you to make so make best use of this knowledge. It's very rare to have it. Make best use of it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. 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 Wisdom. Um, we really have to... um, Regional FA, West Coast Regional Coaches Association Rep. PhD department, representative of commanding officer, one battalion, one infantry battalion, Yundum Barracks, um, students, West Coast Union Sport um, Committee, Kiaman, and all the students here present, good day, and thank you for coming. I would like to encourage um, other ministries while I thank um, the sport minister for this wonderful initiative, including all his committee members. Today, not to talk about success, but I would like us to talk about failure. What I want to dwell in at this moment is the work, our responsibilities as student leaders is what matters. The process that takes us towards success, towards our goals, is what matters. When the sport ministry called for work for health, at some point in time, we were not very much happy about the turnout. And then when they called for this training, because many students did not take it seriously, and many did not come out. But the funny thing that happened was that one girl who was present at that particular event benefited by, taking, by being taken directly by GFF. So that itself is a plus. And that itself, it, it means that it starts from somewhere. That means like we started defining it as failure, but then it began to be the success of an individual person. So that is why as individuals, um, whatsoever we do, we do not just have to be focused on failure. Because when you focus on failure, at the end of the day, what happens is, um, the last result, you will not realize what will come out from it could actually be what you want, could actually be what you desire, and that is success. So, so that should tell you that if we fear failure, and imperfection, then it literally and ultimately means that we do not value growth and learning. It means that we do not value experience 
and struggle. An obsession with winning only means that we don't value um, what has to come ahead. So from now on, I will thank the sport ministry for going against all the odds to organize this event and to honor the people that attended um, the training and to honor the people that attended the work for health. The sport ministry have undergone so many obstacles and today um, they have achieved this successful day. You see, um, the road to success is actually full of turns. But in the end, with perseverance and hard work, you will always get to the finishing point. So I thank you so much, um, the Sport Ministry, for this wonderful initiative. And I encourage you never to relax. Always work hard. And then in the end, you will make yourself happy. The people that you are representing will be proud of you. And what is more important in the end, you will be proud of yourself. To the Gambia College entire um, administration, student associations, and students that have been there with us all along the way, particularly um, Ramatulai Sise, the Social Secretary of STA, um, for being there throughout yesterday in arranging this call and making so that this event is a success. We will never forget your efforts. And then I assure you that they are always recognized. Thank you so very much, Ramatulai Sise. And thank, I, I will give all thanks and appreciations to all of the people who, leave, who left all the things they were doing to join us for the work for health. And then again, to join us for that training, that shows your commitment, that shows your willingness, that shows that you are there for us. So I thank you so very much. And to everybody and everyone who showed up here today, we know breaking away from your um, daily works could be challenging. And you left all of those things to be here today. Even though the turnout is not as we expected, but we are happy. Simply because when you call for something, even if it is one person that sees it vital, even if it is one person, that sees it to be, in the, to be important, that particular individual should be thanked. And you should be grateful for that particular individual um, being present. So I thank you very much um, for attending this event. Um, to GFF Coaches Association, I thank you very much for your tireless efforts um, to put that knowledge in us. You see, the knowledge that Ali Hima, the moment that Ali Humans decided to take actions, in securing their, their lives, I will say that was when um, the birth of success begins. Because at that moment, to me, I sit and say to myself, maybe these are the two questions they ask themselves. How and why? And basically, I, I, I can say that the sport ministry helped us to answer these two questions about how and why. The sport ministry answered this question of how by involving many people and that includes the, um, the GFF um, and Coaches Association to come on board and help students. Why did the sport ministry do this? This is because they knew that they have a responsibility. They knew that they, they, they are in this office for something and students put them there for something. Even though the students might not um, be interested in sport, but they went against all odds to make sure that they represent students well. So to the sport ministry, once again, I thank you and I thank everybody who is here present today. Congratulations.